Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Once again, my partner steps away. If you have not heard this before, it is the description of this kind of channeling. He's here, but he's not participating. This is not an out-of-body experience for him. He's still here. He knows what is being said with his consciousness, his culture, and his language. This is the agreement we have had from the beginning. It is not a takeover. It is a beautiful meld that he has achieved between that which is his higher self and himself. I come in through that portal that is pineal, through the window of his soul, and I use his higher self as the conduit to channel. For those who are not here and listening, we are on Mount Hermon, not too far from the Golan Heights in Israel. Mount Hermon is the highest mountain, and it allows a view into Lebanon and Syria. Not too far from here is that which I predicted on this planet, a dark army without borders, not even a common language. Right on schedule for this time on the planet, and it will be defeated. We wish to examine the letter I. And this then completes the middle of three words on this journey in Israel. And the letter I, I have choose to stand for into the future. This is then an extension or a continuation of the last channel. We speak about the future of the planet, the future of Israel, the future of all of you. We talk about things like wild cards. It is a metaphor for synchronicity. We have used the terminology before, you don't know what you don't know. In other words, if you have not seen it yet, you cannot then conceive it. Futurists try to do this. Those who are specialists in deciding what might be happening next will do their best. Some with second sight will try to move into that future place that no one knows about. And dear ones, they have all been wrong. And the reason is because they cannot know what they have never seen or conceptualized. We talk about wild cards happening on the planet. A wild card is extreme synchronicity that changes places, people, the planet in ways that no one could conceive of. A real wild card will be outside of those who would tell the future. In other words, it would never be expected. And there are several kinds of wild cards. And you have experienced many. Let me give you some examples. In the history of the planet, the electricity that you use today came from one man, 
Now listen to this, for this is the crux of the entire channeling. The invention of alternating current, which is the kind of electricity the planet uses, did not come from a committee of scientists. It did not come from a university who studied electricity. There were no committees that put this together that were smarter than all other humanity. One man came to this planet with an Akashic purpose and a soul that was put here for it at the right time and the right place. Nikolai Tesla arrived. That is a wild card. You can tell wild cards because they are not created by that would be multiple consciousness. They usually stand alone. They're a group. They're one man, one woman. Sometimes an extraordinary leader with wise ideas. Sometimes an inventor. Often an artist or poet. Sometimes a master musician. And they make their mark so strongly and so completely that the world remembers them forever. That is a wild card. The Chinese, they have been watching birds and making flying kites for thousands of years. And yet only a hundred years ago, two brothers who made bicycles gave you powered flight. What you see today in your modern travel through the air was not created by a university or a group of scientists studying the problem of flight. No. Two brothers with an Akashic purpose to come down to the planet at the right time and open the knowledge that would give you what you have today. Are you starting to get the picture? Most of you in this room carry an electronic device. You called a smart device. Created by the consciousness of one man at the right time and the right place. You had telephones. You had portable, portable devices. Why didn't a committee put this together? Why didn't someone put together the brightest minds they could and come up with that smart device you carry? Because it doesn't work that way. It was a wild card. And the man named Jobs did his job. <laughs> with an Akash at the right time, at the right place, that has changed this planet forever. That's a wild card. You experienced a big one in the late 80s. Against all odds, politically, the Soviet Union fell. It disarmed the potential of a world war. Either side disarming would have created that potential. If you're going to have a championship game between two excellent players and one dies, there's no more game. That's synchronicity. And if you ask historians if they expected it, they would have said never, never. It was a wild card. 
Have there been other wild cards in the history of Israel? Many. Let me give you one that maybe you haven't thought of. And I give it to you as an example. In this land, in the individuals who have been born that are Jewish, you have experienced wild cards in your society. What keeps you from thinking there could be more? There have been many. Let's go back to one that is profound. Every Israeli who was born here at some point is given the story of the Exodus. The beautiful story from slavery to the promised land. And the, the one responsible, the man, is Moses. What do you think about him? Let's examine this for a moment. Let's examine something that most Israelis are never told much about. What was it like in Egypt? before Moses. Was he the only one to ever have a rebellion of the slaves? As an entire society was enslaved, did they just sit there and do nothing and endure it until Moses came? And the answer is no. There were many rebellions. It was tried repeatedly, and nothing worked. The Egyptians were strong. They would kill multiple people, multiple Jews, on a regular basis, and have everyone watch in order to suppress any kind of rebellion. There was a history before Moses. Who was Moses? What are the odds that the Jew who would take you into the promised land would be thought to be an Egyptian? This is synchronicity. Look at the story and look at how it worked. He had an Akash that was Moses, the one who was meant to do it, who made all the difference in history for the Jews. Why would you doubt that such a thing might happen again, that there would be leadership not just here, but from other places in the world that would come together in what we call a confluence of synchronicity that might change this planet forever. It's happened many times, Israeli, to you. And so we say yet again, in this closing, if you don't know, what you don't know, don't prejudge what's going to happen. And so it is.